You know what we're talking about today? Stupid questions. What is a stupid question? Well, according to Google, Google says, or rather, Wikipedia says, there's no such thing as a stupid question. It's a popular phrase with a long history. It suggests that a question for knowledge includes failure, and that just because one person may know less than others, they should not be afraid to ask rather than pretend they already know. Well, here's the thing, Wikipedia. They probably most likely do, especially when it comes to things that are easy to answer, which goes into my first point. Think before you speak. Now, I've always been taught all my life to think before you speak, you know, is this appropriate for the situation? Not at home, but just at school as well. Like, is it kind? Is it truthful? Is it learning? Shit like that. But it, it's kind of ingrained in my brain that I have accepted to hate things that are stupid. For example, I was sitting in science class one day and this girl who was sitting next to a football player, she's not that bright, asked him, hey, do you have to wear that football jersey every day at school? And the look on his face just kind of told everything. He didn't even need to answer. He kind of just looked at her with disappointment. And one of his friends answered for him. No, they don't have to wear the football jersey every day. She was like, oh. My second point comes to, and this might just be something with me, is people deny the answer that you give them. Now this might not fall under a stupid question, but it definitely falls under stupidity. And I'm not gonna make a video about stupidity, but I'm kind of tempted. Anyway, I was playing my friend in mini golf and he asked when we first started playing, hey Miguel, how many holes are there? And then I said, oh, there's 18. And he goes, you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Really? Yeah, w where? And then I go, this is your captain speaking. If you look to your left, you can actually see hole number 18, followed by where you put your balls and clubs. And he goes, oh yeah. You know, when I am about to ask a question, I usually ask myself, can I answer this question in five seconds? Do I already know the answer to this question? If not, can I just think logically and infer about what the answer is? And usually, that is the case most of the time. But unfortunately, it is not for other people. Anyway, the moral of the story, or moral of the video, is to think before you speak. Because you never know when a 14-year-old boy is gonna rant about you on screen. Zane. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe and leave a comment about what you hate about stupid questions and overall stupidity. And who knows, maybe I might make a part two. A new video is coming out next weekend about a topic that interests my pathetic life. Bye!